one second. Let me get a little drink of this palm water. Well, Hermes and pomegranate juice. For me, the film ultimately is a film that looks at the world of, of branding, advertising, marketing. Every day we wake up, we're being sold something. We're being sold something by somebody, and at the end, even me. I'm trying to sell you something. I'm trying to get you to come to this film. I'm trying to get you to come see it. And what is ultimately at stake is understanding all those things that are in your life and at play every day. Everywhere you go, no matter what it is, there's somebody who wants you to buy this drink, that shirt, those pants, that car, whatever it is. And I think being aware of that from the beginning, whether it's in film, television, in an elevator, at a gas pump, is ultimately the most important thing. And I think the film does a great job of really bringing that to the surface. And what this film's done for me is completely ruined film and television for me forever. So congratulations. <laughs> film and television will be ruined for you forever. You know, every time you watch a movie, every time you watch a TV show, you're literally gonna be picking out all those things, which at the same time, I think is a great thing. I realize we live in a world that has brands. I don't wanna see somebody drinking like, you know, beer. You've seen those movies where they have a white can with beer on it, and it's like, who the fuck drinks beer? <laughs> Nobody drinks beer. It's like, remember back when they used to have like the generic beer? Shit tasted terrible, nobody drank that. Um, like it's, but so for me, I think it's, uh, you know, it's, it's recognizing that we do live in a world where this is real, but it's not about, oh yes, and have you had a drink of this? You know, it's like, cause that's, for me, it's, it's, we're smarter than that, we're better than that. I think the people who advertise and market and put those things in film and television should try and do a little bit better in, in everything they're doing. They should literally let, let the creative people be creative people. The best thing about this film, which is ridiculously remarkable, is that we've made a, uh, an independent film that from the day it opens in theaters is going to be in profit. <laughs> yes, yes sir. Did we turn anyone down? Absolutely not. <laughs> no. no product placement company would help us. We started calling every, every single, you know, car company you saw in the film, every beverage company, every fast food company. And so, so we tried to get a fast food chain. McDonald's, of course, didn't call me back, big surprise. <laughs> The greatest advice I give to young filmmakers is don't quit. It, it's so, it, this is such a hard business. It's such a hard business to get your foot in the door. It's such a hard business to get any type of traction in. And it's so easy to give up. And ultimately, if it's your passion, it's what you love to do, you can't stop. You know, you have to keep making films. You have to keep telling stories. You have to enter your movies at every film festival you can. You have to get everybody you can to talk about your films. You have to get them out any way possible, by hook or by crook. Like the, the greatest thing you can do, talent is a great thing. Tenacity in the film business is even more important. You have to be tenacious, you have to be persistent, and you can't give up. So to all the young filmmakers out there, don't give up. Try everything you can to make movies, and I hope I get to come see your films. Thank you guys for coming. Appreciate it.